So you have a lot of really good elements to your golf swing. One thing I'm gonna change with you is you get a little vertical because you don't get enough depth at the top of your backswing. You come down here, shaft is fairly steep, but you get a good turn, you make a lot of good movement, you just can't recover from the position here at the top. Your hands get really high, okay? I'm gonna try and restructure how your arms move so you can get your hands deeper across your chest so that we can use physics to make the downswing work for us. Okay, so set up for me. No ball. Yeah, you don't need a ball. Okay. Go ahead and set up. Start turning back for me. Now, see how your arm starts close to your body? Yeah. Keep this lower, okay? okay? I want you to feel that this is going to be pinched in here as you work back to the top of your backswing, okay? See how everything stays nice and low? Now, if I look at your shoulder here, your arms are more across your shoulder line they're not up here. Mm -hmm. I want them in this position right here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you feel that? So everything's gonna start by you not feeling that you're lifting your arms up. It's gonna happen because you're turning your chest and okay. this arm will stay in tight. So do it slowly for me. Beautiful. Now that probably feels awkward to you to get your hands way back there, right? Yeah. They're way lower. Yeah. But when you start moving from here, the shaft will wanna move more behind you and then rotate out and around. Does that make sense? Yep. That's just setting yourself up to take advantage of physics and put yourself in a good position in the downswing. That's it. So what's your, what's your miss? <laughs> that there. Um, Off to the right and left too? Poles? You yeah. Get some poles? I'm, I'm trying to hit a draw all the time. So um, a lot of times I'll overcook it and, sure. go, and go left. Um, if I hit it solid, sometimes I'll move it a little left to right. Okay. Actually, I got like a two-way miss. I can, yeah. I can yeah. picture that with your golf swing. So. You go up and, you know, we talk about depth all the time. You don't have much of it right. going up. Your hands are over your ear, okay. okay? But generally with players, everything gets down to creating more turn, okay? okay? You have plenty of turn mm -hmm. in your golf swing. Your body turns very well. Right. Your arm movement and your hand structure going back doesn't allow for depth. Everything for you is vertical. Okay? You, you disconnect your hands from your body mm -hmm. just so you can get in a position where your hands get too high. Okay. okay. I need to stop that instantly. So set up for me. Here's what I want you to feel. So in terms of your arms, you see how your lead arm is close to your chest there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to keep that tight when you start going back. So start a movement back for me. Boom. See how everything's staying connected now? Mm -hmm. See how the hands are already getting deeper mm -hmm. in this condition here? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. From here, we want to feel as though, keep going, keep turning. You get everything pushed into a position where your hands get farther behind you and wider away from your body. Okay, so see how this is a lot wider? Yep. You get in here and collapse everything and get it right here near your ear. Like that club, right. I was looking at that video, is probably an inch away from your ear. Okay. So set up again, turn it back, keep that body connected, Boom. keep everything wide and turn. There you go, beautiful. That's the positioning I want you to be at at the top of your backswing every time. Now, the weird thing is, I know that, but for some reason I just, it's like I stopped turning or something. No, you keep turning. Okay. You disconnect this arm. Okay, so keep it connected. Yeah, keep it connected and feel like it's pushed away from your body. Go up top. Beautiful. That's the top of your backswing right there. You may get into a condition where you feel that your arms need to overset to get a long backswing at the end. Uh -huh. That may hurt you a little bit, but generally the fact that you just collapse everything. If you keep it wide and don't think about getting that collapse at the end, right. you'll be in a good position. Okay. okay. Okay, so you come down, you get your hand path working too far out. You actually shallow kind of well. The club moves behind you fairly effectively, but your hand path moves too far out. You have a wide open face and you try and square everything by throwing it down late through impact. So you get in here, you hang out right next to him for a second. Now, <clears throat> When you're coming down <coughs> in this position, you get in here, there's your club face. You get here, and the only answer for you is, actually, you're more out here. The only answer for you to try and square that up is to just throw it down like that last minute. Now, you have huge trenches that you're digging, as you can see, all right? So, first things first, we have to get rid of this. Grip this club for me. We need to get rid of the face. Okay, so you have a fairly neutral grip there. I'm going to slightly strengthen your grip. 
I'm going to get this. If we take this off, I want you to feel this lays a little bit more across your fingers. There you go. Now pinch that over. There you go. So you see that position right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a lot stronger grip, but that's going to take care of half of that face issue. Now, go up to the top of your backswing and stop. Now, that's pretty good, but you see how this is extending here? Yeah. See that wrist going into that position? Yeah. Now, this is going to be awkward for you. We need to feel that it is more flat and neutral in the backswing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. See everything's flat there? Now get a big turn. Now, this is gonna be very hard for you and we are gonna grind. I told you you were gonna be a project, right? Yep. I want you to feel that wrist is going to curl down even more as you're turning the golf ball. So you see how square that club face yeah. is? You see how you didn't have to sit there and get into this position right here and then throw it down? It was just naturally square and you were able to rotate through, okay? Yeah. So how we're gonna work that feel, go ahead and set up for me. I'm gonna have you work through freezers for me. Go up to the top of your backswing and stop, okay? Perfect, so you see how that's flat? Yep. Now, we're gonna swing at about 20%, start curling this down, and just hit little bunts, and we're gonna try and hit it about 30 yards out there. So I just want them to pop over the head, that's way too much okay. speed in your swing. Real slow, you need to feel this action in your lead wrist right here, look at this. You need to feel that action going on in your downswing, right? Okay. Putting it all together. So do it real slow and keep repeating it. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.